Yo guys, what is up? It is CJ or Sorbo bringing the Zur video for September 28th, 2018. Now Zur is in the tower in his usual location behind the dead orbit people. Here's on the map just in case you did not know. And uh, let's go ahead and look at his inventory. So this inventory for this week on September 28th is not the best, not gonna lie. I already opened up the Faded Ingram. I got uh, some random ass Titan Helmet I'll never use. But for the exotic weapon for this week, we have the Sweet Business Auto Rifle. The exotic perk is Payday, Large Mag Increased Hip Fire Accuracy. Now this exotic is a really cool exotic, it's really awesome, it's one of those novelties almost. It's practical in some situations, but in most it's just exactly that, a cool exotic. It's not very practical. For the Titan exotic, we have the Hollow Fire Heart. Its exotic perk is Sunfire Furnace. Solar abilities regen faster, even faster if super is charged. I heard this exotic is extremely OP after the Forsaken update by a few viewers. I've yet to use it myself personally, so maybe some of those Hammer Titans want to go try that out for me. That'd be appreciated, but if you don't have it, pick it up, I guess. For the Warlock, we have the Winter's Guile, uh, Warlord Sigil, melee kills, increased melee damage. This kind of seems situational. I've never even heard of these exotics, so obviously they can't be that good, honestly. Uh, but if this is your favorite exotic, I am truly sorry. Uh, but this is a decent exotic, it seems. If you don't have an exotic, maybe pick it up if you have enough legendary shards. And for the Hunter, we have the Aeon Swifts. Everybody has these if you have Curse of Osiris, so I don't know why they're selling them. But its exotic perk is Aeon Energy. Dodging grants energy to near Aeon Cultists. So pretty much if you wear the same gauntlets as everybody else, you give each other energy. Which is cool, but nobody wears these, so it's kind of pointless. So honestly, if I were you, I would not even buy this, even if you have the money for it. So, that was there on September 28th, 2018. It was a pretty bad week. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. A very bad week. And I honestly really hope they do something bigger with Zer soon, or Zer is just completely going to die. Because, there's just, honestly, for me, as you know, a player who played all the DLCs and has played this game too much, there's no reason for me to go to Zer and buy anything because I have everything that he sells. But I know that other people don't, so that is why. So, yeah. This has been Zer on September 28th. 2018. Hope that you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure you leave a like and a comment, and also subscribe to the channel for more Destiny 2 content like this. I do these Destiny 2 Zer videos every single week on my channel when Zer arrives. And also, if you guys want to watch it live on Twitch, it'd be twitch.tv slash Sorable. That's where I do the live stream for the predictions and the countdown every single Friday. Would be appreciated. It's the link somewhere in the description. But, uh, yeah. Bungie. Fix Zer. Thank you guys for watching. It's been CJ or Sorable. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace the heck out.